Good morning, YouTube. I'm Zachary Fowler, and we are live out in the backyard here at my house in Union with the new Natural Fork Slingshot made out of ash that I made this week. In this, you'll be able to see it in the video that we're gonna post after the Q&A in a few. This slingshot, look at that thing, turned out awesome. It's an ash Natural Fork Slingshot, heat bent, and so I'm gonna shoot some stuff for you live here and then we're gonna head up to the studio and I will release today's video and, um, and I'll give you a quick lesson on how to shoot a slingshot in between the two times and uh, so I thought I'm just trying to make the live stream a little more interesting and if you're popping in now for the first time um, in the replay you can I'll put a link right up here for today's video uh, after I shoot these and you can and you can uh, zip on over and just skip right ahead if you don't want to watch any more of the live stream once we get to the Q&A part. Um, today's video is awesome. I, uh, I, I'm really excited about it. It's taken me two weeks to put it together. It's a casting video, how to make a casting video for history channels alone. Uh, but at the same time, I go over like versus how I make my YouTube videos. So I have a lot, make a little parody of that. And it's also um, how I made this Ash Natural Fork. So I explain how uh, to make a casting video while making, climbing a tree, cutting this fork, heat bending it over the fire so that these come out all perfect like that, bent up and stuff. So uh, we'll post that in a few minutes. So I'm going to wail away at some of these and I'll tell you how I shoot my slingshot. And then we'll go up to the office for some Q&A. So I got three lighters and three cans and uh, I got my natural fork slingshot with the uh, 7 16 steel ammo. So let's uh, Let's give these things a crack, see if I can't light them up. Not too bad. This is a nice little slingshot. I think it's one of my, well, I never met a slingshot I haven't liked, so, but this is my new favorite, I think. And the uh, cold weather bands I sell on my website with my favorite, of course, warrior pouches. If you guys haven't shot slingshots, you gotta get one. These things are so much fun. And uh, if you enjoy watching my videos, I post a lot more little ones on Facebook. Hit, hit me up over there, the links to the top of the YouTube channel. And uh, so let's talk about how to shoot a slingshot. Real quick, a lot of people have bought slingshots and they're always asking me and I keep, I don't wanna make a how to shoot a slingshot video just yet. I'm, I'm almost there. Like there's some things I wanna uh, explain fully and properly and, and I wanna have the good footage for it and show how your body is in alignment and I want it to be an exhaustive um, video on it. I want it to be perfect. So I haven't done it just yet because there's still some things I'm trying to learn about myself and shooting. But in general purpose though, slingshot shooting you aim down the bands and you can sight it just like you do a bb gun you close one eye and you sight down this line of the bands here and you put your target right there and you line it right up and your backhand can either be somebody some people use shorter bands and they lock here or they pull way back like i do and the point is though when you're sighting down the bands you want to see them both become one like this when you're looking see can you look down you can see two bands then you're doing something wrong um, and the other thing is some people shoot just static like this and you let go and you don't move this forward hand and I have found that a lot of times if you start to uh, get some frame hits and things like that that you push out with this hand and you pull the shot out of your back hand here and that's my trick to uh, getting a little more speed and a little more accuracy out of my shooting my slingshot 
But uh, let's head up to the office. We'll do some Q&A and I will post today's video about how to make a casting video versus how I make my alone, uh, how I make my uh, YouTube videos while making this slingshot for you. It's really awesome. It's taken me a long time to make the video. And it took me two weeks to make it because it was, it, I wanted to make it really fun. So it's for everybody and it's really entertaining. I got a parody of myself in there. And uh, this tree right here out back, see that tree? I climbed that tree and cut this fork from the top of that tree. And that was part of the video too, cutting it down, heat bending it and making the slingshot. So heading up to the office, check on the kids, make sure they're still good. How you guys doing? Here's the littles. They're all dressed in their Sunday best for church after we're done here. And Pepper Pig, of course. <laughs> you guys say hi? Say hi, no? Then not feeling very chatty. All right, so we're heading up to the office. Oh, wait, should've put my slingshot away. If you got any questions for me, leave them in the comments here and be sure, try to put two question marks. Makes it easier for me to pick them out. Get a lot of comments. So we're putting the slingshot away. There's my slingshot collection is getting big. I need to like do a complete rearrange on it here. I've got so many slingshots of late. People sending me slingshots, make slingshots I've made. It's, it's getting really busy over here, but that's good. You can never have enough slingshots, right? Oh, stop off for some coffee along the way. Got the coffee, we're good to go. Let's head up to the office, do a Q&A and post today's video. Oh. I really loved today's video, it turned out awesome. Two weeks, that's like the longest it's ever taken me to make a video. But it, it turned out so neat showing how I make the YouTube videos. I kind of lifted the veil on how I make my YouTube videos. So that was that was pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna adjust the stand. Sorry about all the jerkiness, herky, herkily jerkily -ness of this. Let's gotta get it. Ugh. You get to see, so in today's video, you'll be able to see all of the uh, equipment that I use, how you can make a video, how to make good videos, how I make my YouTube videos, how to pretty much everything. I, I, I go over it all, but without being boring, I think it was, and I could tell my videos if they're good or not before I post them with you guys. Cause like, if I can't stand rewatching it while I'm editing it, then it's probably going to be annoying. And I usually apologize for the video before I post it. So no apologies today. This is awesome. Don't look, that was my password to get it into, no, like you're gonna come over to my house and try to get into my computer. Open air. How do you store your slingshots? Yeah, right in the open air. I shoot my slingshots so much. If you're a slingshot shooter, you're like, oh, that's so bad for your slingshots. But I shoot my slingshots so much that if, if you were to pay close attention to the slingshots on the wall there, that half of them have broken bands on them because I've just, I'm always shooting them so often. I shoot, I don't know, an hour a day usually and uh, go through like three different slingshots, sometimes break like a couple bands. And uh, so what is going on guys? What is a good slingshot to buy for hunting? Uh, I don't know, any slingshot's good for hunting. It's all about the right size bands that you put on it. You can come on in. Chris is here with us today. He's He's the uh, man behind the scenes there, and, and my uh, he's vastly becoming a, a expert a expert shot with the slingshot. We've been having a lot of fun shooting stuff out of the air out in the yard this week because it's been ridiculously warm. It's winter in Maine, but there hasn't been snow on the ground for like three weeks now. So, um, what is a good the the scout slingshot is a great slingshot. The the hammer, which is very expensive, it's like a hundred bucks, but like. I mean, for something that you could hunt with and is like, can shoot an uh, arrow. I mean, that's a steal, you know? Bows don't cost that. But of course you have to pay attention to your state that you're in because some slingshots uh, you cannot shoot in the state uh, that you're in. Like uh, wrist rockets are, I think, illegal in New Jersey, but a regular slingshot without a wrist brace is not illegal, I, I believe. I 
don't quote me on it, but and like sling bows and slingshots for hunting are illegal because there's no hunting season for slingshots in Maine. So you can't, I have to go somewhere else if I'm going to hunt with it sometime. Um, but there are some rats in the barn and the, the cat hasn't been doing his job. And so Chris and I have set up a, a, a blind up in the loft of the barn and we've been putting dog food out the last couple days and we're going to make a uh, popping off some rats uh, or, or maybe they're just mice. I don't know. But uh, in the barn video coming soon um, is ammo is the ammo legal ammo is legal as long as the slingshot is legal I guess can you read my comment I, I believe I just did can you read my comment uh, I, I there's so many comments here if you've left a comment above it uh, I might have missed it sorry um, what about the reed boat? The reed boat is kicking. It's still there. And springtime is coming and there's the river race in the St. George River up the road. I'm going to do a couple little improvements like put a foot peg that goes through it. Um, and, uh, I'll be ready to go. I'm going to take that river race with all the other kayakers and everybody in the, in the high waters in the springtime. Um, I think that's probably a month away. I made a slingshot with tubes from bands, but every time i shoot it the bands come over the top and whip my hand how do i oh uh hand slap or uh, there's some better term for it slingshotters hate me because i don't know the proper terms for anything i don't care to remember stuff like that for some reason it just so um chris and i found that we were exploring the reason for that a lot and i think that when if you're getting hand slap the best thing is to, like I just mentioned in how to shoot at the beginning of this video, when you shoot, you push forward with your frame hand, the hand that has the slingshot in it. And as you pull that, you let it pull the shot out of your back hand here and you follow through with it, with your wrist, and that tends to reduce the hand slap. Some slingshots, especially ones with tubes, um, can be very obnoxious and it's hard to find that sweet spot where they don't slap your hands. Um, there are guys that intentionally shoot and wear gloves because the way they shoot always slaps their hand and they found that's how they, and I don't, um, I, I've managed to not slap my hand and, and some days it slaps my hand and I'm like, that's it, it's cold, I don't want to play this game anymore. And I switch slingshots and it's gone. So um, it's all about how you set it up. I don't recommend tubes unless you're trying to use short five inch tubes and shoot stuff out of the air. Tubes are, uh, they're not accurate, not like flat bands. Do you shoot traditional archery? I used to shoot traditional archery, so I was like, forget this. This is slingshots are so much more fun. They're so much easier to shoot. You you don't have, the ammo is cheaper. I spent hours and hours making arrows, and then I shoot three shots and break one of my brand new arrows. Uh, I spent more time making them than I actually did shooting them at the time, and it was just it is it, not it's, it's like so much less stressful shooting a slingshot. Shooting arrows out of a slingshot. Shoot arrows. Yes, arrows can be shot out of a slingshot, mostly if it's set up to be done, like the hammer slingshot that I sell on my website from Simple Shot. Um, do you walk around with a slingshot loaded, or do you load it before shooting? Uh, I walk around with a slingshot in my back pocket all the time, and I have my, you'll see it in the video again, but the uh, Wazoo Survival Belt, which is uh, full of ammo right here. I can't. See, I got ammo inside the belt. It's a cool belt. I sell them on my website. And it's got slingshot bands and everything inside the belt. Very cool. Very fun stuff. I love this thing. Love the Wazoo Survival Gear. All that is linked below. Well, it will be linked below later in the description of this video and today's video, which is going to be awesome. How to make a casting video for alone so you can get on the show. Um, it is... Uh, it's pretty wild. I made a parody of myself in it and uh, and kind of like other YouTubers as an example of what not to do, but as an example of what we do do on YouTube. Do do what we do on YouTube to try to get you uh, drawn in and continue to watch. What's your favorite slingshot? 7 16 uh, Smaller than 7 16 slingshot ammo tends to, it's hard to pinch just the ammo because when you shoot, you definitely want to. I should have said that earlier. Missed that point, didn't I? That's always one of the most important things. You pinch just the ammo. If you pinch in front of the ammo, 
you it, it comes pops over your finger or pops off of your thumb and it throws off your trajectory so 7 sixteenths and or half inch ammo so that you can pinch just the ammo so that when it pulls free of your fingers or you let go of it depending on how you choose to shoot that that ammo flies straight through the forks and right at what you were looking at um what is your favorite slingshot and can you show us it uh well i pretty much just did at the beginning of the video um what does my other favorite slingshot chris go grab my three favorite slingshots i think you know which ones those are torque and uh, my new one that I carved. Okay. What is your favorite slings? Chris is going to go grab those for you. Um, so if you guys haven't already seen them before. What does spring turkey hunting start in Maine? Can't wait. Uh, well, I have no idea when spring turkey hunting starts in Maine. I don't really follow the hunting seasons. I haven't been um, a huge, huge hunter. You know, when I started this whole alone thing and stuff, I was doing some deer hunting but i never got a deer um it, it, there wasn't that many up at my land and and i never traveled all that far and so it was like I, i've never been a huge hunter we we raised goats and butchered them ourselves for meat so i it wasn't something i needed and so i never got huge into it what's the longest you've ever what's the longest you've had your beard i've had it forever I was born with my beard and I'll die with my beard unless somebody cuts it off, which is the source of my powers. So hopefully they don't. Um, I will not be, uh, no, won't marry a Delilah. If you guys don't recognize that, that's uh, Samson and Delilah in the Bible. The source of his power, Samson, was uh, his hair. And uh, he, he, he was a massively strong guy, like killed a bear with a with a jawbone well, or a bunch of philistines and stuff but uh in the end like uh his hair with the source of his powers and delilah cut it and they imprisoned him but uh his hair grew back while he was imprisoned and then he tore down an entire temple of the philistines on top of their heads they paid for their messing with the guy did you watch watch star wars episode eight i have not watched star wars episode eight i love star wars but they broke my heart when disney uh killed solo and destroyed the extended universe storyline i'm a complete nerd when it comes to that i've watched and listened to all the audio books that were um after the star wars in, until uh, lucas handed it over to disney and and i'll probably watch it when it comes out but i'm not going to the theater to waste my money on something like that it's not the star wars i grew up with and loved uh, this is my all-time favorite slingshot. I carved this out of a natural fork, and so I used the natural fork of the tree, and it was like that big a diameter tree or something like that, you know? And then I carved it down to this. And this is a beautiful slingshot made out of maple. It has been, I've been shooting it a lot, and it's really rugged. I got the Thunderband Gold. <laughs> it's Theraband Gold, but I like, I call it Thunderband. And my one of my favorite warrior pouches like I sell on my website and uh, love the warrior pouches there's laminated ones which are in the scout and, uh, and these laminated red ones here are awesome they, they, they I love them for my speed shooting because they don't like get all twisted up and stuff they're very they're flexible but stiff enough and long lasting with the uh, I love these bands because it's cold here in Maine right now so this through the forks and the rest of them I'll shoot always over the top like the torque here which Chris likes to rig his backwards like this and I always rig mine like this with the bands and when you're rigging bands or tubes or anything they come over the top I'm gonna add tubes to the website this week if you guys hit me up on Facebook you can see the link at the top of my YouTube channel there's you can uh, I do a lot of like short like one minute videos of uh shooting out in the yard and shooting stuff out of the air and trying to i've been trying to hit a can twice we've been shooting one uh can twice between the two of us like i'll hit it and then he hits it and stuff and just goofing around here and there um so oh thank you for the super chat <laughs> 99 cents that's great thank you very much you're not so bald eagle yeah that's funny um Let's see. Wow, I'm getting way behind on the comments. Hey, Fowler, I just bought a Fowler's Orange Torque. Five pounds of 
5 16 and GZK Nitro bands can't wait till it comes. Yeah, GZK's I love the <coughs> the GZK bands. I, I they might almost be my new favorite if the ones I picked out were very light and I really like them cuz you can get like this mile long draw on a foot of uh tapered latex and it's so snappy. And the the snappier the bands are, the more accurate your slingshot is. But um <coughs> So for the rest of you that are in here to see today's video, I'm going to post that now and then we'll keep talking here for a little bit longer. So today's video is a casting video for History Channels alone, um, but it's also like versus casting video versus how I make my YouTube videos and it takes us through the making of the Natural Fork Slingshot that was at the beginning of this video. If you haven't seen it, go back. I popped off some stuff in the yard for you. Boom, live stream, took a chance and uh, that I wasn't gonna blow it right in front of everybody and I think I did pretty good. Wailed on those cans and those lighters with uh, what, what, a one or two, mi two misses, three misses, I don't know. Only two or something. Yeah, so ridiculously small amount. I thought for sure it'd be like that. Look, mom, come see, and then fall on your face when you try to jump your skateboard or something. Um, so we'll post this and um, hit public right now and published so check that out it's an awesome video and uh, because I made it about how to make the natural fork slingshot heat bending wood and stuff while making it uh, about how to make a casting video and how I make my YouTube videos I think we I really nailed it, it took me two weeks to do so that it wouldn't be just just for people that want to make a, an alone video this is this is the shelter up there in the woods the survival the all the usual adventures that you expect to see on 87 days as well as the behind the scenes and lifting the veil on how that's all going. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and uh, tell your friends about it. All that good stuff that you're supposed to do to help grow my channel. And the in the links below, if anything you see in the video is awesome to you, make sure you check out the links below. There's affiliate links now that support this channel by getting that some of that gear that you see in this video on my either my uh, in my shop. Um, um, on the uh, website or at the affiliate links, which help support me continue to make YouTube videos. Nice looking handmade slingshot, thank you. I'd like to make that one into production or something. That one turned out so awesome. I, I really love it. How do you, how do cold weather bands work? Help, cold weather bands work fine in heat. It's like bands that only work well in the warmth don't work well in the cold, but cold weather bands just work better in the warmth so and that's precise latex from simple shot that I cut the bands myself and sell them on the website and a lot of people um, every band set comes with one warrior pouch and two band sets and tie-ons and the uh, a lot of people in uh, China they're really into it and stuff so um, I, I I love it I love it because it it's always been a hard thing winter comes and you can't shoot outside now I have a shooting range in my kitchen so it's not as big of a deal but you know, can you retire on a hundred K? I, you know, if I ever have a hundred K again, I'll let you know. <laughs> Do you retire after you won alone? Uh, I am like, so the opposite of retired right now. It, it, this making YouTube videos and uh, is like more work than I've ever worked my entire life. You know, I've done in this last year to make this whole YouTube channel. I work so hard at this. It's like, you know, uh, it's it's just, you know, I, I could do it as a part-time thing and do half of what I do and, uh, you know, be working at it for another five years, but I just pushed the envelope and just got a lot of it done and it's really starting to take off. It's so much fun and, and I love doing it because it's making stuff. I'm not only am I making the videos, but I'm making the stuff that I'm making in the videos a lot of people keep asking me, like, when are you going to make more stuff? I'm like, I'm making videos. What what else do you want me to make? Um, that is the point, though, is I like to make stuff in the videos. Are you going to do any more cooking videos? On Yes, this next week we have um, a new product I want to show you guys that uh, I'm, a company I'm working with about freeze-dried food, which works for prepping. Um, uh, would you go grab the uh, grab one of the boxes of snacks? bags of snacks like the strawberries or something so I'm working with a company that um, they sell um, through my link I'll you'll be able to go on there and you can buy the stuff if you're into it uh, freeze-dried food so it's like it's not a 
it's not a uh, prepper food, but it works as a prepper food. It's not a camping food, but it works as a camping food. And uh, it's awesome. It tastes as fresh as brand new food. It's all healthy, like organic. There's no added ingredients. There's no like extra sugars or, or preservatives or, or weird stuff to try and make it better. And when it says, it usually, the, all the snacks say like strawberries on the package. There's just strawberries in the package. That's it. Just freeze dried strawberries. Um, so, uh, um, what is it? Simple platter? Oh, Thrive Life. It's Thrive Life here. I'll put the link below. And uh, once I have it up might be a couple days if you come back you can find it here or in next week's video and this is like a whole box a whole box meal but the whole point is it's not these prepper things and it's not hiking things but you can use it for those or but they want it to be for your everyday meal and I've been cooking it with the kids kids like it parents love it Par you know parents love it and uh, if the kids love it parents love it and so kids tested parents approved I guess right I love all the wazoo stuff. Wazoo's the best. They're so much fun. I mean, I, I so I have so many like things on me that are just wazoo. The the fire starter necklace, the the new sharpening stone. I was like, I don't want to add another thing to my kit. But then when I tried the the sharpening stone, the Viking stone or whatever they call it, it was like boom. I was like, I gotta have this. Um. He has YouTube that will bring in a good income. Hopefully, YouTube brings in a good co income. Um, and I try to get on alone again. Why did you get, didn't you submit your casting video to history channel? Uh, it's not, there's no casting video. I don't need to submit a casting video to get on alone again. If they want to do an all stars, they either have to like not include me or, you know, include me because right now I hold the record. So that would be pretty lame if they didn't, you know, and they let somebody else try to beat my record without me being there. Um, so, I mean, 87 days right now is the longest anybody's been out there. Um, how, how cuts, nobody cuts my hair right now. No, I, I have been let, I always do this. I can let it grow out all winter long. And then like, and then I, the first day of spring, which is warm, I'm like, oh, this is too hot. I gotta, I can't do this anymore. I keep trying to grow it long, but I give up. Um, uh, should said please when you ask him you're right rude so rude i'm sorry chris i didn't say please when i sent you to that's okay. i i I'm... uh fire starter necklace yeah a lot of people have the fire starter necklace a lot of people have been using them um in their videos i mean it's like i don't know it's one of the most simple but useful things and um if you know how to use a ferro rod and if you know how to prep up your tinder, it's the easiest thing in the world. Do you ever do a Patreon? Yeah, I'm gonna, I have a Patreon account. I started and I put it all together, but I haven't had a chance to make the video like saying, hey to everybody, thank you, you know, for joining. And I haven't figured out the tiers because the I've been starting to work on the book, but I haven't gotten it all together to where I want one of the Patreon tiers to be that you get excerpts from the book as it's being written. And uh, so that like that's, that's like a benefit and you get the discount on the book like you get it at cost once it's published minus shipping and handling do you think uh titan would make the best materials to use to make slingshots titanium Tit i don't know um a good firm slingshot frame is very important so titanium probably would but uh it's kind of expensive and hard to work i think i mean that's the beauty of it being tough but also the pain in the neck I would like to, I was thinking like this one might be cool to, I mean, the beauty of it is that it's wood. And if I was to have it turn into plastic, that would be kind of cheesy. But maybe if I had some texturing to the handle or something like that, like diamond pattern or, or something, I, it would still be cool. But I think the beauty of it, maybe, maybe aluminum would be cool. I know they make some beautiful aluminum slingshots. Um, is it still, yes, it's still alive. This, is there a survival kit you recommend? Yes, uh, Go Prepared Survival. They're the ones that I sell the sear strips for on my website and um, you can hit Go Prepared up. Uh, last week's video, uh, I there's a link for it in the one with the, the micro survival kit and all that stuff. Their survival kits, um, they have a micro, what they call a micro survival kit. The, uh, let me, look at the man on the spot, he's got it right here so you can see like 
That's what their label looks like, go prepared right there. So if you see a website that has something else at the top, that's the one. They're, they are awesome. I sell their sear strips and the, um, uh, what are those fishing hooks, the speed hooks. And uh, I, I have those as part of my uh, EDC in my wallet, the sear strips. So they're fire lighters, you see them in this video today. And also the um, speed hooks, kind of like my bug out bag. Um, gotta do a video on that, like kind of putting one together. Or finish, I kind of, it's just a jumble of junk right now. Not really thought through. Would, uh, where should I get stuff to fill my cash, cash bot, bottle? Belt. Belt. Oh, cash belt. Oh, uh, the Go Prepared Survival, uh, Five Co Survival, um, and Wazoo Survival, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, Survival Frog. Any of those guys are great to get stuff from. Survival Frog is really cool. Uh, grab me those new things, would you please, from uh, Survival Frog. So Survival Frog and I are gonna be working together and they sent me some new stuff. So I'll be looking for some videos on that here as I get things together. Uh, there's a Survival Frog has made their own uh, shovel here, which has this crazy, looks like something Batman would carry, right? I mean, that's like, and that's Survival Frog. And they make uh, awesome survival gear for like the everyday man. You know, it's like, it's always an affordable price with great innovative stuff. Like there's solar panels, uh, jump packs. They're like this big to jump, that could like jump your, jump start your car. It's crazy. That's the, there's the survival frog right there. And uh, they are a very, very uh, personal uh, website. Like they're very on top of it. Very quick shipping, very, I mean, they're like uh, affordable. affordable and some really neat, you know, little innovative stuff with a great price tag on it. You know, this is a, a machete with a uh, Japanese style tooth on the back edge of it with a nice uh, rubbery grip, a non-slip grip. That's that's pretty solid. Um, so I'm going to be doing some YouTube videos on some of their stuff coming up. And they, they sent me the, unfortunately, their, their new um, ice, ice cleats here. They slip on over your shoes, under your shoes. They sent me those too late because this winter has gone by all of a sudden. Just winter shut down at the beginning of February and melted off. It went away. It's ridiculous. I don't know if we'll get to go ice fishing again if it's even safe. There's like spotty all over the place. I was thinking about doing another sensational video of what to do when you fall through spring ice, you know? Um, not starting a fire after, but like jumping in the truck real quick, but like showing how to get back out of the ice when you fall through. What do you think you would be doing if you didn't go on a loan show? I think I would probably still be doing this because like when I started messing around with, I probably would just be filming on my phone and uh, I, I started playing around with the slingshot and getting ready for the show. And if I didn't get accepted, I was like, I kind of really got, I started really liking it. So I didn't, I don't, uh, I think I got bit before I even went on alone with this whole filming and making YouTube videos a little bit. You know, it was something that was just, it was just so fun to make a video and show it with people and talk to people about, you know, the slingshot, uh, you know, that I made and the, the uh, other, the shooting it and the trying to beat the Guinness World Record when I learned about the Guinness World Record. I gotta do a video on that again soon. Um, getting up there in speed, so it's time to do an update. Do you ever think you would win, or were you uh, frightened on day one? Oh, I was, I was scared witless on day one uh, out there, and I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I I knew I would never give up, and I thought I would. I thought I was probably gonna get pulled at some point because I didn't feel like I was kept, I felt like somebody else must have gotten a bore or something like that. And it turned out that I had twice as many fish as everybody else. And so I was not, and, and because I didn't have a ration, I thought that they're all eating rations and they've caught as many fish as me, if not more. And, and um, you know, it's like when you're out there, all those things play a toll on your mind and you, you wanna 
I want to call it in and I'm like, I'm just never going to think about quitting. I don't have a choice. You know, I have to do this for my family to, to get a home for us, for the kids so they can have a, have a home. The yurt is too small now and I, I don't, I don't have a choice. So, you know, I'm not even going to think about quitting. And, and so I had a good time. Would you last longer than 97 days if you had to? Uh, 97 days, that's a random... <laughs> I guess 10 more days. I don't see why I couldn't have lasted 10 more days um, out there in Patagonia. You know, it was, uh, my BMI was 21, which meant that at the rate that I was losing weight and stuff, I would be at the state that Carly and Dave and all those guys were pulled at within another three weeks. So that should have given me plenty of time to make it to 100 days before I would get yanked. And uh, I, I'm, I really wanted it to be over from day 40. But at the same time, I wasn't like, I wasn't uh, like, you know, uh, it didn't feel miserable, you know. Um, there were times that it felt miserable after uh, four o'clock when you see me at that second to last episode crying about dandelion roots tasting super sweet because I hadn't had anything but fish and grubs for a long time and, and a couple plantain here and there, which I don't recommend eating eating in bulk no matter how hungry you are. You eat too much plantain, your tongue goes numb and you're like, you could been to a dentist. It's bad, really bad, and you can't get it out of your, ugh. It's like, plantain's great for uh, vitamins and stuff like that. You know, get some, eat one leaf or something like that a day. You know, that's, cause that was all the vegetation I had there, except for those dandelion roots. Taylor Ferris has asked a couple times what your favorite fixed blade is. My favorite fixed blade is the new one from Fritz Knife Making. You can see the link below in today's video. The other one, it'll be below in this one when it's reposted. It's, uh, he, he made me a custom knife here and he made it short. It's like a three inch blade and it is sweet. He even incorporates some orange in there for me. And because I, I don't want anything big, you know, I want something I can whittle and carve with the back end. She softened up just so that I could be carving with it all the time. And that's all I need and stuff. So I, I think this is the best, best fixed blade knife I have ever owned and stuff so it's become part of my everyday carry and he's got this great let's see if i can actually show it to you no no that's good there we go it's got one of these sheaths that it goes down in so you don't have the snap across i really like that i really like that i, I never had a sheath like that before i hate that little snap buckle now more than anything that i've i've never had one like this where it tucks down in um was there a day you wished you could do over a while on the show not really you know i don't live i'm not gonna live in regret you know uh you know forget forget what is behind and reach forward to what is head you know always whether it be your victories i'm not gonna hold on to those like the you know i mean it's part of my youtube series and so it's like that but i i don't hold on to that as like that is the end of all like i won uh, 87 days i won it all i won the whole channel the whole history channel you know that's that's my end game that's not no, that's not my end game that's just the beginning of my newest adventure you know and and that's now it's youtube and more adventures and and whatever i can do here and what i can do with the money to be able to uh to help other people to to you know encourage other people on youtube to to be able to, now I can afford to actually be able to contribute to um, supporting, you know, hungry kids in, in other parts of the world and, and things like that. I can do stuff, you know, that is, that I've never been able to do before. And so that's, that's what I see it as, um, you know, as, as a, a stepping stone. So I don't hold on to what's behind. I'm always pressing forward to the goal for the, uh, like the Bible says, for the prize of the upward calling in Christ Jesus. But also, you know, um, yeah, and all that. So, um, what's your favorite scripture? My favorite scripture? Um, I was it? Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. My sister loves watching your video. My sister loves your videos. What? Thank you. Thank you guys for all the subscribes, likes, uh, sharing it with your friends and things like that, getting it out there, the uh, support by purchasing stuff off the website and, uh, you know, uh, 
you guys have made this super fun to be able to interact with you and uh, being such a good audience and uh, good input and stuff all the time. Uh, what we got for time here? Oh, we're running out of time. The uh, got to get off to church. Uh, gonna answer a couple more questions here. But uh, uh, if you haven't seen it already, get over there, check out today's video. I know it sounds like oh, it's a casting video, how to make a casting video, but trust me. I made it for everybody. It's still the same as all of my other 87 Days videos. Very entertaining. You know, just just lots of fun doing a parody of my own self, making fun of myself a little bit at the beginning, and uh, and then how to make that natural fork slingshot turned out awesome. Let's see. Do you do any hide tanning? I, I have tanned a couple hides of the goats that we used to have. Uh, Chris, could you grab me that hide right there, please? I have one that's like not very well tanned. Right here, actually, and uh, this is one I tanned myself. Can I get it back? This is my goat hide, and it's just, I roughly tanned it, and it, I didn't fit, continue to work it till it became enough flexible, because uh, I use this for like laying stuff on, taking photographs, so it looks more, you know, rustic-y as the background. Uh, but I made one or two two that were softer, and one my dad has as a throw thing on the back of his chair at home, and I gave it to my dad. Um, I've always wanted to do more of it, and then uh, after alone, Jamie sold the goats while I was gone, and all that farm stuff is gone now. So uh, I'd like to get back into it. Chris and I have been talking about him staying up at the land, maybe being a you know a steward of the land, and uh, maybe we'd be able to get some uh, couple goats for processing into meat in the fall. I love goat meat. It is uh, is is the best meat out there. It's the best meat I've ever had. I don't know. I, I, it probably sounds weird to you guys that are like, ew, goat meat. But, I mean, like, you haven't lived until you've eaten goat meat. It's so good, you know? I'd love to survive 87 days on just that. And Jamie used to cook the most delicious goat. Oh, mm. she made this uh, jerked goat meat that was like this with a pineapple and stuff and in a, in a roast. And it was so good on the wood stove. It cooked all day in the yurt when we lived up there. And, oh, making my mouth water. Do you do any? Oh, I read that. Hiding, uh, hiding a body in the trunk. Haha, -ha, nice. Uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, what is? Are you doing while? Don't. Uh, what was your B? Uh, uh, my BMI was twenty one, so I figured at the rate that I was losing weight, which was accelerated because of that last. Uh, three weeks I only had uh, last uh, 14 days I had three fish so if it was still eating that poor poorly which uh, I would I would be only like three weeks left before I'd be at 21 I mean at 16 for my BMI I was at 21 I'd be at 16 uh, how do you catch trout I don't want to go buy expensive things uh, you don't have to buy expensive things if you want to catch trout. Just get some worms. Get yourself out there with a hook. What what size hook would you say, Chris? Probably six ot. Just a six ot. Just get a good six ot uh, hook and a line. And you can even, if you watch my first video in the 87 days uh, called, I think it was called day two, where I, I show how to hand line. So all you need is a little bit of line and a six ot, and you can put a worm on there and a rock for a sinker and and or a or a stick for a bobber and just kind of spool it back in on the stick. You can cast up to like 30 feet that way once you get good at it. And uh, it could be super cheap to go that way. You could keep that in your back pocket practically and go out fishing whenever you want and catch trout like that. Um, but it's all about the right time of the year too. Because later on when I finished the duck hunter in the duck hunter video, I couldn't catch a single trout because it was warm and they were all out deeper. And you know, it's like... So trout season's coming. Chris is all excited. He's like, I don't want to do any more ice fishing. I want I want trout in the river. Trout, brookie, brookies in the springtime. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it. I got to get out of here. I want to make it on time for church. So it could be too late here walking in. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Check out today's video. It turned out awesome. Very excited about it. Uh, I know it says it's a casting video for alone, but I made it really fun. I put a lot of time into it to make it just like all the other 87 Days video. It lifts the veil a little bit on what I've been doing, how I make my YouTube videos, and gives you some tips and stuff on how you can make the YouTube videos, as well as following 
All of this is centered around how to make a natural fork slingshot, keep bending the forks and everything over the fire and stuff like that. So that's something you can apply to any time you're out there having a fire, heat bending wood and making chair backs or something like that fun for while you're out there. I'm gonna be doing some mute. I'm gonna be doing a little. I'm gonna be doing some more heat bending coming up when it comes to making a chair for the top of the reed boat, so that it's a little more comfortable for long trips. And uh, we'll have tons more adventures to come. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time in the live stream next Sunday morning at nine. Fowler out.